Hi, and welcome to the Cap Thesis YouTube channel. This is Frank Capillary, president and founder of Cap Thesis, where we help active investors identify key market trends and show actionable trade setups through the lens of technical analysis. Today, we'll be looking at the most recent MACD sell signal for the S&P 500. And if you like this kind of content, give this video a like and subscribe, and you'll be notified anytime we put out a new video. So let's get into it. First of all, what is the MACD indicator? Well, it's a momentum indicator, and it's called the MACD, which stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. So it takes a 26-day exponential moving average, subtracts it from the 12-day exponential moving average to produce what's called a MACD line here, which is the black line. And then we apply the nine-day exponential moving average to that line, which produces a signal which is slower in nature. So in terms of finding a sell signal, we're looking for the times when the MACD line, the black line, crosses underneath the slower moving nine day moving average or the signal line here, right? And so we can see why we wanted to identify that at times is after the market rises like this, right? So potentially can see momentum start to unwind sometimes before price action does. So this is sometimes a leading indicator if you will. And so we see that, of course, in the recent past, it's done pretty well. But we should take a closer look at this because as we can tell from the beginning of 2022, all the way to the beginning of uh, February, 2023, MACD sell signals nailed trading tops every single time. See them here very close to the actual top of each up move and then we saw very strong downside follow through each time, which produced pretty big downside moves in short order. And they even happened after the market made a new low in October and when things changed, right? It happened in December and most recently from February to March, which this was a big 9% decline. So we should pay attention to it. But since then, there have now been four different MACD sell signals, which have yet to produce anything more than a decline of three and a half percent. So really the market has maintained this uptrend the whole time. And, you know, readers of our content know that we started to identify changes in the market's complexion when the second quarter began, because we started to see a lot less plus or minus 1% moves. So two-way volatility began to decrease. That increases the chances that bullish patterns work, which of course has happened and decreases the chances of the success of bearish patterns. And so put all those together, and that is what produces much more consistent uptrending action, right? So we have to identify when things are, are recurring like that. And so does that mean that we should ignore what's going on now? No, of course not. We we'll try to look at each one of these potential inflection points in isolation because they could change at any time. But I would say that we have to identify what type of environment we're in. And sometimes when you have a change of character like this, it can extend much further and go much longer than people think. And we can look back to you most recently to 2021. So here is all of the MACD sell signals took place from really December 2020 all the way through the end of 2021. There are 11 of them. And what can we tell by this? Well, the market's uptrend held the entire time, right? There were some pullbacks along the way, but nothing too crushing which produced, again, a lot of higher highs and a lot of higher lows, even though we got these sell signals along the way. And really, they just pr pr provided whipsaws. So what does this mean? Well, it means that you're in an uptrend and sometimes overbought readings or exhaustion signals just don't play out the same way they do when you're in a sideways trading market or, of course, in a downtrend as well. When you see those strong bear market rally type moves, those impulsive bounces tend to just fade. And we saw that many times last year. And so any type of indicator that we looked at to identify something stretched ended up being a very good time to you know, put on our mean reverting trade. Right now that hasn't changed. So again, what are we looking for to have a change? We just talked about it. If you see a lot more big moves on both sides of the tape, that would say that two-way volatility is heightened again. If uh, a bearish pattern in the S&P finally starts to work, then that will obviously increase risk as well. But as of right now, you know, we're trying to maintain 
the tape, the same type of bid that's in the marketplace. And if that continues, then a MACD signal wouldn't be the best indicator to use to identify a major top. So we want to read that full report and go visit capthesis.com. We'll bring you to this page. You can peruse all the content here, read about all our products. You also always have six unlocked newsletters on the first page. And if you want to do, hit a 30-day risk-free trial, and you'll get access to all of it. That's it for now. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.